<laughs> What's up, guys? It's me, YK Waste, and we are back again with another video. And I don't know about you guys, but I am still recovering from the Combo Breaker weekend. That top eight, that grand finals, probably the best tournament I've seen in a very, very, very long time. Uh, lots of international competition, and I think the two best players in the world going at it in the end. And there'll be videos about all of that. I don't know how much I'm going to do. There's a lot of reactions to be had. I don't know, but we're going to focus on Brian fury today which is the trade we're going to be doing a breakdown for haven't done a proper breakdown for this one yep did the reaction yesterday and now i'm getting this one to you guys now obviously you've already seen the trailer you guys know that by now so we're just going to do what we normally do with these watch it do the slow-mo do everything first of all before we begin though, i have to say i don't know about this something about this trailer i wasn't too i know i found it a bit it's not my favorite we'll say i don't know something about the brian fury trailer just didn't I don't know whether it's because it was leaked and we knew it was Brian. I mean, I said before Combo Breaker, I said 100% it's going to be Brian. I thought there'd be two characters of Combo Breaker. Um, but yeah, I said 100% it's going to be Brian. And yeah, first off, I like... Bro. His pose is sick, by the way. Um, the way he looks in Tekken 8, like just graphically, is amazing. His scars look so sick. Um, his design's a bit... Yeah, because we've already like it's it's not much change from seven to eight. You know they kept it very very similar, very on brand. He has like you see like the like the studded like the studded like trousers and shit. You know what I mean? Like he's still got the snake skin on this side as well. It's very much like an homage. One thing I really like though is the fact he's got dynamite. No, oh, it's not dynamite. It's shotgun shells. It's shot. I thought it was dynamite in his arms earlier, which was gonna I, which was gonna go into something I'd say later. But it's not dynamite. It's fucking shotgun shells. I'm sorry. Oh, he has a grenade on his belt. Two in fact. Get ready for the next battle. Right, he looks tough. I think he looks like a crackhead here, by the way. New challenger, Brian Fiari. He's down for two there. Ryan's got some new stuff this game. I said one, not a launch anymore. I just noticed that. Jet up a launch. Ford one plus two. Looks like that's a power crush now. Oh, there's so much going on here. I have to say. Uh, it looks like it's down forward one string, but from the right and then a knee. But see, Brian and Ford, this is this is an this is an old school rivalry. First off, the way he laughs is so weird. <laughs> oh no, I know how I feel about that. This is an old school rivalry. That back one flip is insane, by the way. That could be a new side set string, I don't know. It's a heat engage with taunt into his heat smash. Going full red, by the way. I don't know, man. Like, Brian's looking like he's going to be even more insane at the wall as well. Forward forward two, Mac Punch being a heat engage is crazy. I think it's still a power crush as well. And that's a new move from the looks of things. It looks like it's Mac Punch, but the left hand. I I don't I don't like his rage up. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't like his rage up. I like I don't like the ending. I like the start of his rage up. I like the I like the cyborg vision as well. The cyborg vision part is sick. Like that's sick. That whole part there is sick. I don't like how he ended it with Mac Punch though. I don't know, cause that's Mac that's his rage rage on Tekken 7 is Mac Punch. So. But like the build up to it, the cyborg vision, that's all very sick. And like he looks as chaotic as ever, so. Yeah, I don't know. The trailer's good. Not one of my favorites, I'll say. I don't want to use the U word underwhelming because then people might get angry at me again. But, uh. Oh, he looks diff very good. By the way, I did take a look at myself in the camera. New hair, by the way. My hair's purple now. Uh, just to throw it out there. You guys can definitely see, but I've never. I haven't said anything on YouTube yet. So, let's do the do. This is what I'm actually very excited to analyze because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving pieces here, and Brian has a very new upgrade. Uh, that we've noticed and i think it's it's in line with something they're really doing for tekken 8 so when it when it pops up i'll show you first off so down for two one into a new stance from the looks of things down for two one does a sway back i don't know if it's part of the string where he does down for two one then a manual sway back i don't know 
uh, into that punch there, which he did before his rage art. So that's uh, that was I think that was an instant screw, or it was, I think that was an instant tail flip move. I uh, don't know whether that's counting hit or regular uh, counting hit or normal hit, but huge pushback on block, um, chip damage as well. Then into his forge two one string, and then bam. This is something that's old and new because if you guys don't know now, when Brian does a taunt and he gets to the part where he does the come on, he uh, he basically has like a he has a tiny upgrade stuff like his forward forward two uh does the blue sparks in it and like he has an extension of his forward two string as well i think we're going to see that in a bit uh but that's why he's in the game now and we're going to see how it's upgraded in tekken 8 also this reminds me of asuka because in asuka's trade she does this new point thing and then she gets certain uh changes some moves they get buffed different properties etc so with brian how it impacts him you see his arms glow red as well i thought that was the dynamite on his arms uh being a part of it but it's not dynamite it's shotgun shells so here, side set one, not a launcher anymore. This was a normal hit launcher in Tekken 7. Not anymore, but it looks like huge plus frames into a huge jumping knee attack, which is crazy. Tried tried to sidewalk it there. Looked like he was super plus on side set one, so that's whatever. Then then he does the taunt power up, sidesteps the get up kick, then forwards to one. And this is like in, in Tekken 7, I think he just he has like an extra string into a blue spot forward forward two. Uh, and this in this game is is the for two one extra knockdown. That's basically that's his down. Is it down two three? That's his down two three, right? So it becomes a part of the string. A huge punch at the end of it. This is probably all guaranteed as well. Also off of a taunt as well. This is something he does off of a taunt. So if he has the um, he does the taunt power up. Then there's a taunt into forward. This is a taunt string. This is something he does into taunts. This would be guaranteed after a taunt. So this is huge to do uh off of a taunt setup uh down for two punches minus 14 forward one plus two looks like it's a power crush now they're making a big emphasis on power crushes in second eight jab that's a new string entirely that might just be his back two actually he doesn't have back two on four does he, he has back two on three which is the which is a tailspin in second seven so that's a new string dashes up into that's new but it's a splat there now he does his what is his wall bounce now in this game it looks like it's a heat engage because generally a lot of wall bounce moves from tekken 7 because wall bounce has gone in tekken 8 i become heat engage there it's a heat engager does chip damage then so he does something new here um and this is interesting so you see look at jack look at jack's eyes is that a jack thing or is that a brian thing because remember they're both robots they're both cyborgs in some capacity now is this happening? I think it's I think it's being indicated by Jack. I've not seen anything of Jack doing this, by the way. Um, I don't know what that means. But then he does looks like he does forward forward two. Looks like he does Mac Punch. It kind of looks like he's doing a start start of Mac Punch. I can't really see. But then he does the power power crush. He absorbs this move, probably takes the full damage of it, and then bam. So I don't know what this is. This is completely like it's like it's basically like a like it reminds me of Devil Jin, uh Devil Jin's power crush right now where he does like ah, the parry um it kind of looks like that it's like a power crush parry from the looks of things of his forward forward two um does he have the the red arms when he's doing it he has the red arms so this might be something you can only do when he's got the taunt power up i don't know um but that's crazy into regular wall, str wall string you see that string there that tail flips now i don't think that that doesn't tell that doesn't screw in tekken 7 but that's a tail flip now i guess the reward splat R forward three. And that's the new string. Reminds me of his down forward one. Then the Paul and Brian moment. I'll let you taste the power of my fists. <laughs> I like this. So I like the character. I hope I hope characters have multiple special intros, by the way. Like Brian's obviously gonna have one with Yoshi. Paul has one with Law. I hope characters get like at least two or three special intros. So it made tournaments more exciting as well. You know how many times you you know if, if it's just like this character has it only with this one you might not see it as much so i like that or brian's animations look sick as well but then starts off right away back one counter huge flip new tail flip move there um heat burst again that's a regular string brian does in his combos now here this looks like a sidestep two one this is like a sidestep string here for brian he engaged knocks down into taunt and then heat smash 
So this is, I think Brian is going to be insane in this game because generally when you, uh, when someone does a heat engage on you, they're super plus in your face, you can't step. Your main option really is to power crush. That's the main option we've been seeing people doing. Um, but with, with Brian, if his taunt is the same, he could sort of like fake it out, like do a taunt, then block afterwards and absorb your power crush. Or he just runs in. This could be like guaranteed, depending on the frames on certain heat engages. Running torn into the heat smash. One thing I found as well is heat smashes generally. I don't know. I don't think they're great. One thing I found from from playing Tekken, 8, I feel like they're kind of a waste of heat. I want. I wonder if how much heat gauge you have left impacts how much damage your heat smash does. Because if then, I think you just use most of your heat to get your uh, extended properties and stuff on your moves. Then when your heat gauge is about to run out, then you use your heat smash. Especially if you're a character like Law, because Law has a safe heat smash. So that's just free damage to throw out for something like that. And then in general, I don't think heat smashes are that good. I guess, unless you have like a pool demo man style one, because he has another one as well. Um, I, I think, I don't know how I feel about heat smash smashes just yet. But there, and then, cause, and you use up all your heat. Regardless of how many heat uh, icons you have, it uses up all of your heat. Then here, taunt at the wall. That one plus two, which is now a heat engage, which there was a damn that one plus two. I don't know the fucking input. Anyway, heat engage run in. Now three plus four into this charge attack here. He goes full red on this as well. I think this is like a sick chain for Brian. I think stylistically. Uh, full charge. And here he guard breaks Paul. You can see Paul is actually blocking. He's he's not. He hasn't got hit by this. Like he has time to block this. This hopefully this is steppable or you can interrupt or something. But guard break wall splat. This is some fact shit right here. Um, down forward two one. Flip over QC before. Forward forward two heat engage. I think that's a very good heat engage. New string as well uh, for a tail flip while saying three four same as always. And because he had the built up, that's the forward forward two. So basically, it's not blue sparks anymore. Uh, for Brian, it's this new red explosion type shit, which I think is pretty cool. I think blue sparks is pretty generic. Um, I think giving characters, when they have a special property, I think making it, you know, it's, it's the same impact. Like, obviously, a lot of characters have blue spot type shit. I think just making it look different for characters, like giving it, like, it gives them their personality. And like I've been saying for years now, the personality of Tekken 7, every character is really shining through in their own way. Actually, I want to see how this starts. Does he start with the, um, the red hands in this? Forward, forward two. Maybe heat gives him the red hands. Let's see. Let's go back to his the first time he's a heat engager. Runs in. Yeah, it looks like when Brian goes into heat, this is what it looks like. I can only I can only spec. Actually, no, it'll be Betsy off the heat bus. So here here we see Brian does not have the taunt buff right now. He does heat burst. And yeah, his his arms start glowing. So when Brian's in heat. Uh, that new taunt buff he gets, it looks like it's always, maybe always active. I don't know if it's always active, or he gets like a one for use of it, like Claudio's Rage Jab, which gives him Starburst or something. Um, that's interesting. That's interesting. I think Brian, Brian and Heat, and then yeah, he uses Heat Engager. He keeps the, he keeps the red arms, the taunt buff from that. Dynamite Fist. I'm going to call it Dynamite Fist, even though it's, it's shotgun shells in his arm. And then yeah, that's the move we saw earlier, which was a which um uh plus on look like plus on block uh chip damage as well is an instant tail flip move and then into his rage art. Oh, something to, to, to mention the first hit of his rage art is fisherman spam. See the first hit of his rage art? It's fisherman. Bar setting too. Yeah, I don't know what to say though, man. I think you know you know would have been you know would have been sick instead because I like everything leading up in the rage art until the final hit. I think this same build up and everything here, but then maybe we ended it with a lariat instead and like smacks him down into round. I think that would that's just my two cents. I don't like seeing moves that a character has in the game in their rage art, but that's just me being a bit. You know what I mean? That's me being a bit. You know. Bro, he looks amazing. I think on, on upon further analysis of the trailer, I think Brian's going to be insane in Tekken 8.
I think it's going to be crazy. But I want to know what you guys think as well in the comment section. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.